Welcome to the Year 4 Parent Workshop. Today we are going to be looking at supporting your children with times tables. So I've got a little quote for you. Getting to grips with basic maths is not just crucial for academic success and future job, job prospects. The skills we learn at school help us with everyday life. So when children know their time tables, mental arithmetic becomes easier. Practicing time tables also helps children to understand number, number relationships, and they can see the patterns between the numbers. These skills will help them master key concepts and quickly move through more complex maths problems with confidence. A thorough knowledge of multiplication and division facts will help children succeed in primary school and set them up for success set them up for success at secondary school. As they grow older, knowing their timetables will help them with everyday activities like shopping, budgeting and cooking. So you can see from this, it's very, very important. Um, multiplication division will help over lots, lots of different things. How can you help your children learn their timetables at home? So by the end of year four, children must be able to recall any timetable answer within a two or three seconds, preferably as quick as possible. This leaves them no time for counting way up to the answer. The answer must pop out of memory pretty much instantly. For example, they must know that six times seven is 42, seven times six is 42, 42 divided by seven is six, and 42 divided by six is seven. By the end of the year four, there is an online assessment that is set by the government. Okay, all children in England sit this, and they have to, to, to achieve, they have to get 25 out of 25 and they have six seconds to answer each question. So it's very, very important. Also, lots of practice at home on this because we do use a keyboard. OK, so if we get them used to the keyboard, inputting numbers, then that will really help us too. So now we're going to be looking at a couple of different strategies today that will help you with teaching your children times tables. So the first one that we can start off with is multiplication bingo. Now you will see in front on the camera here, we have a, a bingo card. Here are lots of different numbers, okay, and these equate to the answers for um, a times table question. And the way you do it is you are looking to get a line. So you're looking to get across through each one of the numbers down or across, and then you can also play to get the full answers. And you just read random times table facts, okay, and you'll find the answer. So we're going, I'm going to show you how we play this now. And Mrs. Carr is going to help me. Six times six. So I know six times six is 36, so I will cross 36. Three times five. Three times five is 15, so again, I will cross 15. Seven times three. Seven times three is 21. Nine times zero. Nine times zero. Zero. Nine times five. Nine times five is 45. So as you see, it's completely random. Numbers will be anywhere. Two times four. Two times four is eight. Three times four. Three times four is twelve. Eight times eight. Eight times eight is sixty-four. Now I do not have. Oh, I do have sixty-four on my card. Two times seven. Bingo. There you go, and you, when you cross it, you will shout bingo, and then you can play for a full house. And you could play this with multiple children in your family. Does Your child doesn't just have to be in year four to play this. Now, we are going to look at something else. You will also get given one of these. And this here is our times tables, assess yourself, okay? And these are, at the top it tells you which time table, so this is the 10 times table of five, and you have them all the way to the 12, 12 times table. You need a timer, okay? You can start off with four minutes, and then as you can get quicker, but the children are expected to be able to answer all of these questions correctly within three minutes, and that's what we test them at school, okay? So you will put a three-minute timer on, 
okay? And then you would let your child have a go at answering the questions here. So I will just show you very quickly how it works. I've got my three minute timer and I'm going to have a go at the 10 times table. So we'll work through. So your child will have a look and then you can find the answers online. finished by and you can, if you if your child does finish it within the time you can see how long it takes them okay and then you will mark them so you'll have a, a few different ones of these so i'll just show you the other ones so we have the fours the eights the sixes the sevens and we also have the nines and the twelves another really good way for your child to learn their time tables as well is having a go on times table rock stars that will really help them Make sure, though, that when your child is doing it, they have the mixed questions on because you can choose just twos or tens or fives, but we need to have let them have an opportunity of answering all the questions.